America, land of opportunity, home of the brave, a place where dreams are made and where the spirit of innovation thrives. From the bustling streets of New York City to the serene landscapes of the Midwest, America is a melting pot of cultures, ideas, and of course, trends. And let's be honest, the birthplace of some seriously strange viral trends. From the ice bucket challenge to the Harlem Shake, we've seen it all. These trends spread like wildfire, capturing the imagination of millions. Remember that time everyone was eating Tide Pods? It was a bizarre moment in internet history, a trend that left many scratching their heads. Yet, it became a phenomenon, with countless videos flooding social media. Or planking in bizarre locations? Yeah, me too. People were lying face down in the most unexpected places, from park benches to office desks. It was a simple act, yet it took the world by storm. We've all been there, caught in the digital crosshairs of the latest craze sweeping the nation. Whether it's a dance challenge or a quirky hashtag, these trends have a way of pulling us in, making us part of a larger global conversation. These trends, as fleeting as they may be, offer a hilarious glimpse into the American psyche. They reveal our love for fun, our desire for connection, and sometimes our penchant for the absurd. They're like cultural Rorschach tests, revealing our collective anxieties, desires, and occasionally, our questionable judgment. Each trend tells a story, a snapshot of the times we live in. But hey, who am I to judge? We all have our moments of silliness. It's part of what makes us human. I once spent a week trying to balance a spoon on my nose. It seemed like a fun challenge at the time, a way to pass the hours and share a laugh with friends. Spoiler alert, it's harder than it looks. But the joy is in the attempt, in the shared laughter and the stories that come from it. But that's the beauty of it all, isn't it? These moments of collective whimsy bring us closer, reminding us of the simple pleasures in life. These trends, as ridiculous as they may seem, have a way of bringing us together. They create a sense of community, a shared experience that transcends borders and backgrounds. They provide a shared experience, a common ground for conversation, and a much-needed dose of laughter in a world that often takes itself far too seriously. In the end, it's these moments of joy and connection that truly define us. Let's start with the classic, the Tide Pod Challenge. Remember when people were filming themselves biting into laundry detergent pods? Like they were some kind of forbidden gummy snack? I still can't wrap my head around it. Who woke up one morning and thought, you know what would be a great idea? Ingesting concentrated cleaning chemicals. I mean, I'll admit those little pods do look kind of appealing, all colorful and squishy, but something about the words caution, keep out of reach of children just screams, this is not food, maybe it's just me. The whole thing was just baffling and a little terrifying. It was like watching natural selection unfold in real time, except instead of Darwin's finches, we had teenagers with a penchant for Tide. Then there was planking. Ah, planking. The art of lying face down in public places like a human plank of wood, because why not? It was a bizarre yet fascinating trend that swept across the globe. I remember seeing photos of people planking on park benches on top of cars, even on toilets, toilets, people, the creativity or perhaps the absurdity knew no bounds. I never quite understood the appeal. Was it a form of silent protest, a statement against the mundanity of everyday life? Maybe it was a commentary on the monotony of modern life. Or perhaps it was just a way to break the routine to inject a bit of humor into the daily grind. Or maybe people were just bored. In a world where entertainment is at our fingertips, sometimes the simplest, silliest acts can bring the most joy. Either way, it was undeniably hilarious. The laughter it brought was infectious, a shared moment of collective amusement, especially when someone inevitably took it too far and ended up planking off a balcony or something. The risks people took were astonishing. I tried planking once. It lasted about five seconds before my arms gave out and I face-planted into the carpet. It was a humbling experience. It was at that moment I realized I was not cut out for the life of a human plank. My brief attempt at joining the trend ended in laughter and a sore nose. Some dreams are best left unrealized, but the memories of those who dared to plank in the most unexpected places will always bring a smile to my face. And who could forget Yanni or Laurel? That viral sensation that swept across the globe leaving everyone in a state of auditory confusion. That one audio clip that had everyone debating whether they heard Yanni or Laurel. Families were torn apart. Friendships were tested. It was as if the world had suddenly split into two camps, each convinced of their own auditory reality. The very fabric of society seemed to unravel, all over a soundbite. Offices turned into battlegrounds, homes into debate arenas, and social media was flooded with passionate arguments. 
I'm not ashamed to admit I spent an embarrassing amount of time listening to that clip, convinced I could somehow will the answer into existence. I played it over and over trying to catch a hint of the other word. I even subjected my poor dog to it hoping for some canine insight. Maybe, just maybe, he could hear something I couldn't. He just looked at me with that you're an idiot expression dogs do so well. It was a humbling moment, realizing even my dog was baffled by this auditory enigma. Looking back, it's amazing how such a simple thing could cause such a stir. It was a reminder of how easily we can be captivated by the simplest of phenomena. But that's the power of the internet, I guess. It can take the most mundane things and turn them into global talking points. It can turn the mundane into the extraordinary, making us all part of a shared experience no matter how trivial it may seem. The trivial into the trending, hashtags exploded, memes were created, and everyone had an opinion. And sometimes, it can even make us question our own sanity. How could something so simple cause so much confusion? It was a fascinating glimpse into the complexities of human perception.